Check it out, Vapestas. We got snow last night. Oh, yeah, and today we're going to be taking a look at the new Tiro Mini. Check it out. Sucka! Whoops, I didn't mean to nail you that hard right in the fucking eyeball. Damn. You okay, man? Hello? I'm just going to take you inside and let you thaw out. I think this shit will all just melt out of there. So it is a cold but beautiful day up here in the Northwest. And you know nothing better than coffee and a warm vape on a cold day. So I hope you guys are having a great day where you're at. Because I know we got a great video for you guys today. We're going to be taking a look at a new mini mod. Well, not just mini. Nano. Kind of reminds me of the nano bots that got loose on Red Dwarf. Actually, the first person who can tell me where Lister found the nano bots is going to win themselves a Vapes to Juice t-shirt. But I think that is a good distinction, actually, because when I think of mini, I just think of smaller. But when you think of nano, you think of small but high tech. And that's actually what you got here in this Taro Nano. This basically has got the same Omni chip from the original 200 watt version of the Taro. And this little tiny mod actually goes up to 80 watts and has 2500 ma built in battery if you can believe that man seems like 2500 ma was pretty much the standard just a couple of years ago on regular size mods but i think that i taste mvp was actually one of the first really popular mods that had over 3000 mods so for a little tiny ma packing 2500 ma that's impressive enough but then like i said this thing does everything pretty much the bigger mods do just in a smaller form and then we're going to be looking at this today with the new v echo tank or veco I haven't really decided yet, but these are going to be using those EUC coils, the Echo Universal coils, those really tiny ones you can get either in stainless steel or traditional. I believe the one we got in here today is the Clapton coil. And then the tank itself is just a two mil top fill tank. You guys can check it out right here. You're going to fill it right there. And then it also does have kind of a unique top airflow system so you don't have any airflow adjustment at the bottom it's all at the top which does keep it from leaking so that's a nice feature but how they're able to do that is through this double plated air system here so the air goes into that outer rim goes down into the middle and then comes back up through the middle tube so you're kind of getting cooling on the coil going down and coming up got it going in the front end and the back end that's what she said all right if you do want to replace your little echo coils the base comes off and then you actually just grab them and you can pull them out and they are just those little tiny coils like that but they pack a big ass punch you guys will see in a second but you can do that while the tank is still filled with juice with no problem those coils come right out you don't have to empty the tank or anything and then i'm going to go ahead and fill this tank up now so it can wick up for a minute while we look at the mod I'm going to be using this gummy candy again. I actually did this and that banana nut bread, I think, last week. And I had a lot of people saying that I didn't mention the company that actually made it. So that was my bad. This stuff is produced by Hulu. I keep wanting to say Yoo-Hoo. All right, I'll set that aside for a second. And we will check out the Nano. So you already can see from the social media posts I put up, everybody was raving about that it is just a sleek ass mod. I actually like the design and look of it better than the original to tell you the truth. This isn't just a little bit smaller. It is a lot smaller, both height and width. They don't make this one in that funky yellow, but they do have a few colors and one is my favorite, the neon green. Check these out. So again, this is a built-in 2500 mAh battery that you're going to be able to charge right there. All of your buttons and everything are right here on the one side. You got your power button, your plus and minus, plus this is your mode button. So that's going to allow you to go from temperature mode in nickel, titanium, stainless steel, all of that stuff. You also got the memory modes and then it does the bypass, which basically just turns this thing into a mech mod. So quite impressive array of skills this little thing can do. And then one of my favorite features about it aesthetically is that center placement of the 510 threading. I just love that. So another feature that's great about this. As soon as you tell it whether it's a new or old load, when it comes in, it does give you the optimized wattage for the resistance that you have on here. So this thing is really going to help you out if you're a beginner, which makes me think this would be a great step into the sub ohm vaping for people who are just kind of getting to that point. So even though this thing does come in with the recommended vaping 
wattage. Of course, you can change that. As you guys can see there, it's reading this as right about a 0.4. And then it just adjusts up or down and has actually a fairly quick scroll as you can see it goes all the way up to 80 watts on this little bad boy so i will go ahead and take a vape at 40 watts on this traditional clapton coil on here and then i think i will try a couple other tanks on this there's one that i actually love the way it vapes on this and then i do have one that has stainless steel coils so we can try it out in temperature control but this is it's recommended 40 watts for this 0.4 resistance coil. Check it out. Cock-a-doodle damn, guys. For a little tiny mod with a little tank and those tiny itty bitty coils, man. This thing just fucking goes against nature producing big ass clouds like that. And again, I think I did go over this gummy flavoring, but really sweet candy type. This actually tastes better to me than gummy bears. I've never been a big fan of them. I do want to try this thing out in temperature for you guys real quick. All right, we're going to try this Slipstream Tank. The one that I got with the Chroma. It's actually one of my favorite temperature control tanks right now. This has the stainless steel coils in it. I'm going to switch this thing over and we're going to bake this thing in around 470 to 490 range. Degrees now, not watts. All right, so we're just going to flip through it. Get it to stainless steel. And we're doing 490 degrees Fahrenheit. Check this out. Yeah, that is an awesome, cool vape. I really like the temperature control on this Slipstream. It is one of the only tanks I've actually preferred to vape in temperature over wattage mode. Yeah, that is an awesome vape. 490 degrees is what I vape it on on the Chroma as well. Nice little tiny tank. I think it actually looks pretty good on here too. But one of my favorite tanks I've tried on this is actually this Brit Mini. Check it out. Oh yeah. Whoops, I just kicked you in the fucking shin. Were you saying something you shouldn't have? All right, guys, look at that. I love this little with that stubby drip tip on there. And then this thing just fucking hits hard at around 50 watts. So I'm telling it's a new vape. I'm switching back over into wattage mode. So it came up with a 55 degree recommendation and that is reading this coil at 0.17. So 55 watts on the Nutero Nano. Woo hoo! What was I telling you? Whiteout conditions. So yeah, one of the nice things about this mini mod, unlike a lot of the other ones that do 40 to 50 watts, doing a full 80 watts, this thing can pretty much handle any of the tanks on the market now, including this 0.15 resistance of the Brit Minis here. You just cannot deny them clouds, man. So Vapresso has definitely hit another one out of the ballpark as far as I'm concerned. This is an awesome vape, either in temperature control or wattage. It's also got the bypass function, the custom curves if you're into all that stuff. So this thing can basically get as high tech as you want to get. More high tech than I want to get. I know that. But all right, guys, I think that's going to do it for this first look at the new Taro Nano. Don't forget to be the first one to tell me where Lister found the Nano bots and win yourself a t shirt. And I will also put a link underneath the video to where you can get this Taro Nano, or at least I'll put something to where you can get it when it's available. And if you're interested in checking out these flavors, ooh, they got some other flavors as well. I'll put a link to that underneath the video too, down in the crotch box. So don't forget to like and comment on your way out. Tell me something you like about this new Vapresso Taro Nano. And maybe I can convince the company to send me a few more for giveaways. I'd love to get my hands on that neon green one. And be sure to have a great vaping day. See you tomorrow.